this is Matt from Ace Appliance in Toledo, Ohio. Welcome back to another in-home diagnostic video brought to you by AppliancePideo.com. Okay, uh, what we have here is a Maytag Bravos dryer. Uh, the customer's complaint is it's not drying the clothes. Uh, when you go outside and feel the airflow, uh, we don't feel any air blowing out of the backside at, at all. Um, so what we're going to look at is a lot of times the pulley will fall off that drives the blower wheel. I'm uh, going to check to make sure that the belt and everything is intact, see if we have any, anything going on there. Uh, the only tools that are needed uh, are just a putty knife, a uh, 5 16 nut driver, and blue Loctite, and then also like a, an adjustable wrench or a pair of channel locks. Alright, so what we're going to use is a putty knife. you got a tab right here on the top. And one on the other side. We've got the dryer unplugged right now. We've got a, the connector for the door, the, the lights, and the door switch that we're going to disconnect here. The little white connector in the right hand corner. Okay, and we've got two 5 16 screws going from the inside that we're going to remove. the front panel. Alright now we got our cover off. You can see there's your belt that drives the blower wheel and that's just laying down there. And there's the pulley for the blower wheel just laying there. So we're gonna pull the windscreen out. Remove the 5 16 screen on the blower housing here. Take that off. And now if you reach in there, you can feel the actual blower wheel itself. So what we're going to do to keep this pulley from backing off is we are going to put a little bit of blue thread lock on the shaft that comes out on the top of the blower wheel. Just uh, put a little bit on the threads. Okay, so you got your shaft right up here in the middle. And we're just going to, like I said, put a little bit of thread lock on the shaft here. Alright, that thread lock was just a little bit plugged up. So just put a couple drops right on the shaft. here. And what you have to do is stick your hand in, hold the blower wheel so that the shaft doesn't spin on you. And just thread the pulley on. It's a reverse thread so you're going to be threading it counterclockwise. Get it hand tight and then you're going to use a wrench. All right, I'm going to use a pair of channel locks to get on the pulley there. And 
hold on to the blower wheel and just sort of give it another quarter of a turn or so just to snug it up. All right. Give it a spin, make sure that blower wheel is spinning freely. And right on this side here, this is your motor pulley. So you're going to run the belt. The belt kind of runs around the motor pulley and then turns like that and runs around the blower wheel. So feed it around the motor. It runs real tight. Let's try the other way. So what I did is fed it around the blower wheel pulley first. And then just kind of roll it up over your motor pulley. And the first time that just twisted on me, so gotta take it back off. And you want your ribs to be facing down on both pulleys. There we go. Okay, we've got it fed around. Make sure it's not twisted or anything. Give the blower wheel a little spin. Make sure the belt's turning and the motor's turning with it. Just double check all your connectors down here, make sure you didn't knock anything loose. Alright, uh, we're going to go ahead and put the blower housing cover back on here. for the front panel. Alright, so we got our ears on each side that the door is going to slide onto. Lift it up. Get your top panel up. Okay, get it onto the ears there. We're going to reconnect our Door switch harness. Now we've got our two 516 screws. Hold the front panel back on. Okay, uh, we have good airflow coming out the backside, so that's going to complete the repair. Thanks for watching another quality video from appliancevideo.com.